Thank you very much for joining us again and good morning. This is TVC Breakfast, uh, the Friday edition and thank God it's Friday indeed. I'm Kemi Fola Adeyemo with Olamide Adeyemi. As good, usual. Morning, good morning, as usual. <laughs> I, those good words morning. also ran through my mind but I was like, okay, <laughs> let me just yeah, keep that to myself. Once again. <laughs> good morning, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine and um, a wet Friday, depending yeah, Friday. on where you are. Well, I actually wanted to even start with, uh, thank God it's Friday, but it's the countdown to the Ado State election. Yeah, but thank I mean, God it's walk Friday. begins what? Well, well, for some of us. Well, you must, uh, I don't know, whatever it is you're doing, you're just running through. I can see, <laughs> I can see you taking away all my thoughts. <laughs> all right, absolutely. Um, you know, it's going to be a busy weekend. It already has been busy, uh, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, the Edo governorship election, we've been talking about it. And now the election is here, and of course, TVC News will be very much on ground to uh, bring you all the needed uh, updates regarding the election before, during, and after uh, the polls on Saturday. All right, let's start off with um, this um, announcement uh, from the presidency. As President Bola Tinubu will not attend the 79th United Nations General Assembly session in New York this year. Rather, the Vice President Kashim Shetima will go in his stead as leader of the Nigerian delegation to that meeting. Well, according uh, to a statement released on Thursday by the Special Advisor to the President on Information and Strategy, Bayo Nonuga, the President will stay back in the country and focus on domestic issues uh, and address some of the country's challenges, especially after the recent devastating flooding. Vice President uh, Mr. Shetima will deliver Nigeria's national statement to the General Assembly, attend important sideline events, and hold bilateral meetings at this year's uh, United, General, uh, United Nations uh, General Assembly session. All right. So... Well, this announcement came in yesterday or yeah, yesterday afternoon. And um, before now, the president has also maintained his um, stance regarding the number of delegations uh, by the country for COP, uh, COP29 and also for uh, the UNGA, which is um, built to commence as from Tuesday next week. It's going to be a week-long event, intense period. We all know how it can be, uh, how um, f much of a frenzy uh, meetings like that can be. And the president is saying there is so much for him to do. He only just returned from uh, uh, China and the UK. There is so much for him to do. And, of course, the issue with the floods, uh, there's still need for, you know, a lot of monitoring. Uh, you know, so much money is now coming in. That's gratifying anyway. Uh, but then how these funds can be channeled uh, within to meet the needs of, of the victims, of, these, um, of, of the affected victims in all the states that have um, you know, witnessed um, you know, heightened levels uh, of um, flood this year. Well, it's a great uh, initiative by the president. You know, uh, some persons will say, uh, so we do not actually lose ourselves while trying to you know, get um, investors, while trying to woo other nations, forget some domestic issues. And so I was... Uh, quite, you know, surprised, but also, you know, positive about the president's move as to ensuring that domestic issues are also addressed. And uh, with the theme of uh, this year's uh, Seventh Night uh, meeting, is expected that uh, sovereign states will address major issues. The theme of this year, uh, saying that uh, leaving no one behind, and is also ensuring that uh, states act together for the advancement of peace. Uh, the SD uh, goes, and also, you know human dignity, and the future generation, which right. is very much important. We're talking about uh, issues of sustainability of many nations in terms of climate change, in terms of security matters, in terms of, you know, addressing the SD goals, the sustainable development goals, uh, saying uh, leaving no one behind, ending poverty, ending hunger. So these are major issues. And so as much as the vice president will be there, the president is also present present at that meeting because uh, the vice president will be representing the, the nation here. And it's a good one that the president is staying back. Well, in the wake of uh, the, the Bonu flooding and all, all that, 
Uh, we understand that the flood is receding, but uh, there's still much help that uh, those there can get uh, at this time. And so, uh, well, according to the brief uh, that we received, uh, we also heard that uh, the delegates will also try their best to woo investors. Big nations like um, China will also be there. I uh, recall that the president also, you know, recently got back from China and other, you know, stakeholders in the world scene. And so uh, it's a great initiative. We're hoping that uh, the delegates themselves can get as much, uh, you know, investors that can, you know, propel Nigeria to prosperity. These are the issues. Right. And... Um for me as well, okay, it is, it's good that um, the president is also reading the optics uh, at, at the moment. Mm -hmm. it's, it's great that he you know, gets to travel and woo investors, uh, prospective and otherwise, uh, to the country, especially at this time of you know, um, economic restructuring, so to speak. But um, we are still not yet out of, of the woods. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the shocks are still there. And the needed adjustment, many households are still struggling to, you know, adjust and, you know, to, to all the changes which the presidency insists are, are, are needed at this time. Uh, when you come, when you look at the years of neglect, the economic um, you know, degradation that the country has recorded. So uh, there's, there's a lot to do. But on the other hand, um, this is also another opportunity for us to maximize meetings of, of this nature because we have... Um, for those of us on the outside, um, the feelers we get is that, you know, people, these delegates just rush, you know, to attend these meetings because of what they could gain um, mm. monetarily from, from it now. But then in terms of the, of the deliverables, how it meets the needs, how it fits within, um, you know, what is bothering the average Nigerian back at home, uh, what do they come back with? How then do they, how do they even run in the aftermath of their, or from their return or from those trips, what do they do to take, um, you know, the vision forward? So we, it remains to be seen, and we hope that this will be a very fruitful uh, trip uh, for the Nigerian uh, contingent, uh, especially with all the uh, challenges uh, that are here at home. Uh, a lot has been said. The economy still needs uh, uh, fixing. Uh, the fuel situation, too, is still worrisome. Uh, many are counting down to October the 1st when a crude oil will start to be sold uh, in Naira. And we hope that will also bring in more positives for the country.